Sarah Blackwell with Silenced Voices. We're here at Lowe's Retail Store, where Lowe's recently fired 125 American tech workers, forcing them to train people in India and sending their jobs over to India. Lowe's was founded by a World War II vet and recently won a Department of Defense award for employment of military personnel. So why would a seemingly American company fire American workers? One reason, corporate greed. Lowe's is the second largest home improvements retail store, second only to Home Depot. It has 2,700 stores across the nation and over 290,000 employees. But most importantly, the CEO of Lowe's, Robert Niblock, makes $12.6 million last year and recently cashed in on his shares and got $36 million more. He announced to the 125 American workers that the company needs to go in a new direction, which meant they were firing American workers for the purpose of making his dollars bigger. American workers have been suffering from this business model all over the nation. Lowe's is just one of many companies that has been firing American workers, forcing them to train, and sending the jobs to India. It's not a globalistic idea where they're sending the jobs all over the world for the reason of being and having a presence all over the world. The purpose of sending those jobs to India is because India doesn't protect its citizens. And corporate executives like Robert Niblock can ex exploit those foreign workers so that his dollars can get bigger. The customers of Lowe's need to ask Robert Niblock and the other executives, is it okay to fire American workers so that they can get richer? Is it okay to send the jobs to India so that their pockets can get stronger? The last question that I think is the most important that these customers don't even know to ask is when those technology jobs are sent to India, is the private data, the private banking data of these customers going to India as well? The Indian company doesn't protect the American private data the way the United States does. Tune in next time at Silenced Voices where we will cover different companies that buy into this business model where they sell out the American workers and send the work either to India or bring in foreigners to the United States solely for the cheap foreign labor at the cost of the American workers, the foreigners, and the American people.